So this is going to be a school calendar for 2021-2022. Oh, and I have to make sure to change that. Ah, <laughs> 2022 it's supposed to say. Okay, so I will have to remember that. Anyways, so I designed these. I started with the basic. This is the, the, I did, let's see, it was three, I think it was three by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I did a three by seven. And then I made this block smaller and I gave the header for some note taking if you need it. But this is like a school planner for young adults. Uh, if you use an iPad or, or you use a PowerPoint note or any note taking app that you can pull a PDF into and write on it, that is what this is for. So after I did these and I matched them, these were fun. The, the little binder rings here. I guess I could kind of show you how we did that, huh? All right, let's see here. So we'll just put a new blank slide. Let's just do a new blank slide because I can always delete it later. So for the binder rings, what I did is I went to my shapes here. I love PowerPoint. My shapes here. And we're going to do a, let's see. Here we go. We're going to do black. And we are going to copy and paste. Okay. So once we have this, all right, we can do a format here. We want to go gradient. But we want it to be gray and black. Black. Some black. Some gray, some black. Uh oh. The dog is barking. All right. See, it gives it just some shade here. And you can move the shade around if you watch real close. It kind of. Move it around a little bit. And actually, we can delete this one now because we didn't do the gradient first. So we're going to go copy and paste. Okay, so this portion I had a really hard time. So, like that. And then we want this one to be yellow. But we don't want an outline. We don't. You can have an outline on your circle if you want to, but I don't. So you just go into your shape outline and put no outline. And then your shape fills already filled in. And then you bring it and it gives you the lines and it just lined everything up. So this is your binder ring, obviously. It's not that, it's not that uh, big. So what I did, go like this. And then if you're over here on home or insert or design, any of these, just go to shape format and you'll come over here to, to send, not send to the back. I've been sending to the back. Can you tell? <laughs> you want to group and that gives you one solid. Oh, you know what? Let's ungroup that. You know what I forgot? I forgot. I forgot. Okay, so we want another circle, kind of, sort of, anyways. About like that. And then we want this to be no outline. And we want this to be white. And kind of put it about right there. Now com that's going to complete it. And group, there we go. 
And this, you can shrink it, and we shrink it. Here we go. Shrink it. Then I went, boom. That's amazing. Copy, paste, paste, and paste. Oop. I don't know why it went over there. Because I hit the wrong paste. Okay, so then I took these and Oh, because this one's off. Okay. It's gonna oops. Well that was unfortunate. Okay. There we go. We're gonna I just want everything lined up. There we go. All right, and we have all four. Okay, now we can highlight it all, go to back to the group and ungroup everything, and then do that one more time. Just to, okay, so everything's been ungrouped. Now we're going to regroup it and. Nope, that's not what we wanted to do. Okay, so ungroup. We're going to do this. Anyways. <laughs> Darn it. And then I want, what I did is I went ahead and I did this. And I copy and I paste. And then I bring this down here. Line it up right. And one more here. Line it up right. And, you know, get it where you want it. And then you can start designing your, your stuff there. So I, I did, what was it? Three by seven, I believe it was three by seven. Let's see. Two, three. Can we do seven? And we did seven. Cool. So what do I do here? Let's see. Can we make it? And I put it in the middle because I'm going to also put a bar in the middle. And then I bring this down. All the way down. And I wanted this center here. So that's what I did. And under the table design, I just made it an outline. So these two here, I went into layout and I merged those two cells. And then he here, what I did is I went to my table design and I went pen. So it's still going to be, all three of them are still going to be separate, but you're not going to be able to see it here in just a second. So you can take this little pen and go and one more here. Oop. All right. So now, see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then for the other side, I did the same thing, but I merged all three cells for the other side. So again, you would go to layout, merge cells. And there you go. Then I figured out what text and everything I wanted. So, and then I started making the note days. I did this. This is, you know, your important dates, any notes that you want for the month. You got your calendar for the entire month. And then you have your days. So, what I did here was I did one, two, three, four, six, seven. So it looks like I did maybe eight by two. And then these inside lines here I made lighter so that it would look like the outline. So this is a block here. This is a block here. Let me show you. We're just going to. Okay. So. If I go here and I put that, there we go. Gonna just, just. 
So you see, move this now. That's its own separate. So I have three of those. But putting the dark, putting the two darker lines together makes it a little bit more distinguishable. So and then here, I figured out what font I wanted, and you go with the text box. You do, do, boom. Okay, so that brings me to the home. I already knew that I wanted that color, so boom, there's that color because it'll stay like that as long as you're inside this design. When you close it, you'll have to redo the color, but that's for another day. And then I go down to 96, and I picked a font that I wanted, and so this is now going to be 28. Oops. And then the head, just place it there. And what I would do from there, once I have all the numbers done, then I come up here into shape format and I send it to the back. And what that does is it allows those gray lines to come forward so that when you down or upload it into your program and you go to write on it, you have the full set of lines behind all the numbers. And I've been experimenting with this for a little while. So I have um, July 2021 through December all done. And I just started working on January today. But I wanted to share it with you. It's a kind of a neat 